Indefinite integration problem 16. A function has a gradient f dash x equals to 3x squared plus kx minus k, where k is a constant. Given that f of x passes through the point 2 and 7, that's x and y, with a gradient of 18. Find the value of k and the equation of fx. So in this question, y is also called f of x and the y, the x, which is the gradient, is also called f dash x. So we've been given the gradient uh, f of x which passes through that point x equals 2 and has a gradient of 18. That equals 3x squared plus kx minus k equals 18. When x equals to 2, 3 into bracket 2 squared plus 2k minus k equals 18. 2 squared is 4, 4 times 3 is 12, 12 plus 2k minus k equals 18. And that implies that k equals 18 minus 12, which equals 6. So k equals 6. If we take that value, put it back in here, then we get the y, the x, which is the gradient, f dash x equals 3 x squared plus 6x minus 6. So that's the gradient. And the question says we need to find the value of k, which we have done. Now it says find the equation f of x. The y, the x, equals 3x squared plus 6x minus 6. And if we multiply both sides by the x, the y will be equal to 3x squared plus 6x minus 6, open bracket, close bracket, dx. Now we need to integrate both sides of the equation. So integral dy will be equal to integral 3x squared dx plus integral 6x dx minus integral 6 x to the power 0 dx x to the power 0 equals 1 anything to the power 0 equals 1 so that'd be 1 times 6 and that's 6 so that's why it's x to the power 0 and the reason why we put it x to the power 0 is because if y equals x to the power of n then we can integrate y dx which will then be x to the power n plus 1 over n plus 1 plus c. So we need x to the power of n. 6 doesn't have x to the power of n. Oh, it does have x to the power of n. It's x to the power of 0. And that's why we put that in. Integral dy is actually integral 1 dy, which equals to integral y to the power 0 dy. Because y to the power 0 equals 1. So that's 1 times the y is the y. So if we integrate in y to the power 0, the y also integrating x to the power 3x squared, the x plus integral of 6x, the x minus integral of 6x to the power 0, the x, y to the power 0 plus 1 over 0 plus 1, and that would be 3x cubed over 3 plus 6x squared over 2, because that's x to the power of 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 plus 1 is 3. 2 plus 1 is 3. Minus 6x to the power of 0 plus 1, 1 over 1 plus c. Y equals 3 cancel 3. And that would be x cubed plus 3x squared 
minus 6x plus c. When x equals to 2 and y equals to 7, we can find the value of c. So we could say 7 equals to 2 cubed plus 3 into bracket 2 squared minus 6 into bracket 2 plus c. c would be equal to 7 minus 8 plus 12 minus 12 c equals minus 1. Now we can place the value of c back into the equation y equals x cubed plus 3x squared minus 6x minus 1. Therefore, f of x equals x cubed plus 3x squared minus 6x minus 1. And that is the solution.